You ready to head out to the tracks? Just knowing that tree is hanging over the train track is making me anxious. It's a little bit of a hike, but it's worth it to see the rail bridge. Let me know once you've found the tree. With any luck, it won't take you long to clear it out of the way. You're getting close to the tree that's threatening to fall onto the tracks. I'm guessing it was loosened in a recent storm. Yukon Valley tends to get a few lightning storms each summer, but we do a thorough job of preparing. So we only saw a couple of small fires that went out on their own. Some of my team are still recording the after effects of the storms. I've heard reports of huge trees with deep roots that are now at precarious angles and might need to be cut down. We're lucky to have such isolated incidents. Other reserves have reported landslides. I've only ever seen one landslide in person, and that was from the air. Even from up there, it was a shocking display of natural force. It was all I could do to land the plane before the storm overtook me. Hmm. It's hard to tell what caused this tree to tip over. I guess the big question is how to do this properly. But I trust you to get the job done. I hope you can make do with a hatchet. Great work out there. The train is behemoth. I honestly don't think a single tree would do more than dent it in a collision. But I'd rather not take the chance and risk a serious accident. Speaking of the train, it's due to pass by at any moment. I'd stay clear of the tracks if I were you. Keeping that railroad open is a big responsibility for us. Not only is it essential for a lot of trade out here, but the bridge brings tourists in from all over the place. I'd like a good picture of the bridge, one that we can put on our website. See if you can snap it while the train is passing over it. That'll look great. I used to come out to this corner of the reserve with my family. We'd spend long weekends camping, and I'd teach my youngest daughter, Kara, how to shoot. My older daughter, Deanna, was still an angry teenager who needed convincing to take part in any activity. She'd always be laughing and having fun by the end of the trip, though. That looks like a good spot to take the photo. Those trips are some of my favorite memories. It brought us all closer as a family. Being alone, together. Here's me talking about my family vacations when I can't even remember the last time I had dinner with my wife. Her birthday was what? A month ago? I think I'm probably overdue to take her out somewhere nice. That's the shot we need. Whether it's through a camera lens or a rifle scope, you know how to take me and let's shoot. I see you got the train in there, too. Wonderful. I'll send this picture over to Sandy. Her team takes care of the Yukon Valley website. <laughs> 